My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. I am Flash Isaac and you are welcome to episode number 63 of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In the previous episode, I explained waves formed in vibrating strings. Remember, this is a series and there is an app to support the videos. After every video, go to the Flash Learner Jam application, install and begin to play with questions. Visit flashlearners.com to install the various versions of the application. Now, we started with physics, where we agreed that physics studies matter in relation to energy. Energy is referred to as antimatter because when matter has mass and occupies space, energy doesn't really have mass. It is anti-matter. It is wave-like. Then, we jump into waves and we say that waves are disturbances and these disturbances can travel through medium or space and they transfer energy from one form to another or from one place to another without mass transfer. So, if this wave travel in medium, they are referred to as mechanical waves. All those ones, they require material medium, physical medium. Like sound, you wouldn't have been able to hear me if there were no air. Without air, without uh, solids, without liquids and gases, all these are mediums. Air is being propagated. So air requires a medium and it is referred to as mechanical wave. And there are the ones that can move without medium, without air, without solids, without liquids, you can propagate those waves. They are referred to as electromagnetic waves, like X-ray, gamma rays, light waves. All these are electromagnetic waves. Then we proceeded to focus on sound waves. So sound waves are mechanical waves. They require medium and they are longitudinal waves. The direction of movement or propagation of sound is parallel to the direction of the production. So the movement and the production are parallel. Hey, hey, you see compression and refraction is moving parallel. Now, waves in air columns. When you see all these columns like this, or open pipes, closed pipes, then you are dealing with waves in air columns. When it comes to waves in air columns, three concepts are important or there are three things you should know. The waves formed in air column are stationary waves. These are waves produced with restriction. They cancel out. And the opposite of stationary wave is progressive wave and earlier we were able to solve questions under stationary waves and progressive wave equations. Waves in air columns are longitudinal, longitudinal waves and the third thing you should know under waves in air columns is that the vibrations produced can be free, forced or resonance. Free vibrations, forced vibrations, and resonance. Bodies are set under vibration. And when these vibra uh, bodies are vibrating, there is what we refer to as the number of oscillations or the number of vibrations or the number of circles that the body vibrates every second. 
That is referred to as frequency. Number of circle or number of vibrations per second. If you look at this wave diagram, you see that this maximum displacement from the zero position is referred to as amplitude. So as the wave oscillates, and you ask yourself, how many of these oscillations takes place every second? That is referred to as frequency. And frequency is 1 over t, where t is period. What is period? Period is the time it takes to complete one oscillation. Frequency is the number of, oscill number of oscillation per time. For free vibration, vibration is caused by a point source of energy. Why false vibration is caused by external force? The vibration caused by prongs of a tuning fork is referred to as free vibration because the vibration is by a point source of energy. You have something like this, tuning fork, like this. So these prongs, the vibration set here, is free vibration because it is not by external force, right? But if I have a table and I have a tuning fork on top of the table, if I vibrate it on the table, brrr, in that case, external force is applied. That is now a false vibration. For false vibration, external force is applied. And the amplitude of a false vibration depends on the difference between the natural frequency and the frequency of the external force applied. Because the body will have its own natural frequency and the external force applied will have the frequency. So the difference between the two is the amplitude of the forced vibration. For free vibration, the body vibrates at a natural frequency and the energy can be said to be constant for free vi uh, vibrations generally. If you have this, free vibration assumes that this continues to be like this. But it is wrong because there is concept in waves referred to as damping. Damping. Damping means once this thing starts at this high amplitude, it's expected to go down, go down, go down, and go down. So it decays with time. So this is a characteristic of forced vibrations. And most vibrations will be forced because it is hard for you to see a wave where the total energy remains constant and it does not damp. Resonance. Before we go into resonance, the frequency of vibration in force vibration is the frequency of the force applied of the force vibration. The total frequency in force vibration is the same thing as the frequency of the force vibration. For example, when external force, let's say force stem of a tuning fork is against a table. The frequency of this force vibration is the frequency of the table. But resonance, on the other hand, is a special form of forced vibration. What is resonance? Generally, resonance is when a vibrating body or object sets another one under vibration and both of them move at the same natural frequency. So, for Waves in air columns, resonance is a special kind of force vibration. Resonance is not a free vibration. Resonance is not really a force vibration. It is a special form of force vibration. Now, when does this occur? Resonance occurs when the frequency of the force vibration is equal to the natural frequency of the body in vibration. So the first frequency, applied frequency, and the natural frequency are the same. Both the tuning fork and the table example, they are both moving in the same frequency, under the same natural frequency. We said resonance has occurred. And in resonance, amplitude is maximum. Then loudness is maximum. Under free, fourth, and resonance, it is at resonance that amplitude is maximum and loudness is maximum. Now, in false vibration, 
the loudness experience is because of the so, uh, surface area of the tuning fork against a table and because of the free uh, column that is available. Ladies and gentlemen, waves in, in air columns. This is not the end. There is a concept of open pipes and closed pipes. In the next episode, we shall be solving questions under open pipes and closed pipes. And I shall teach you, I shall teach you that concept very, very detailed. This is just a tip of the iceberg. In the next class, you are going to blow it. Trust me. So get the flash then I'll jump on the issue. Begin to play with the questions. Feel free to chat me up directly if you have something to share with me. I'm always here to answer your questions. See you in the next episode.